Hello, James Dankampf. This is Evan Yu, creator and team lead of Vue.js. Today, I'm very happy to share with you some latest updates on Vue.js. We just recently released Vue 3.0, a new major version with tons of improvements and new features. It's a complete rewrite with greatly improved internal architecture, but the public API was kept largely the same. New features include fragments, teleport, suspense, and most importantly, the composition API, which is a very flexible and powerful tool for dealing with complex logic at scale. Vue 3 also brings about a number of single file component specific features to improve the development experience, such as syntax sugar for using composition API and state-driven CSS variables in the style section. Other highlights for Vue 3 include improved performance across the board, sometimes up to two to three times faster, half the memory usage, and smaller bundle sizes for your tree shaking, better TypeScript integration, and better IDE support. Now, Vue 3 also unlocks some interesting new capabilities specifically for the Jamstack use cases. And we're exploring these capabilities in a currently experimental project called VPress. VPress is a lightweight alternative to ViewPress built on Vue 3 and Beat. It's a Vue-powered static site generator designed with minimal payload in mind. It allows full dynamic and static content mix in markdown source, in markdown source files. Now, there are other solutions that allows you to do this, for example, MDX for React, but the problem to these existing solutions is that in order to hydrate these dynamic components, we're also including all the JavaScript for the static content in your markdown files as well. So this bloats the JavaScript bundle size and makes your page load slower. Now, VPress solves this problem by smartly leveraging Vue 3's compiler hints to discard the JavaScript for the static parts, so your bundle only contains the code for the dynamic parts. We're also working on more improvements in Vue 3 core to expand this capability to even further, uh, to include component templates as well, so stay tuned. Now, if you haven't given Vue 3 a try yet, head over to, over to our new docs at v3.vjs.org to learn more. Thank you.